Thank you, AJ. Um, I'm confused, especially after. If you hold it a bit closer. I'm confused, especially after today. Um, I've been working through a lot of my father issues with anger. Yep. Um, and my, therefore my man issues. Yep. Has and your law of attraction with men changed? Yes. Of course. Yes. But this is what I what I ask about because um, my ex partner. Um, like we haven't really been in contact much for a year, um, although we've been separated for three years. We were very friendly for the first two, and then we've sort of let go. Mm -hmm. And um, he's saying now that he he just so is that his addiction, or is it my addiction that he is coming back into his life because I need him, or is he my soulmate, or what? Because <laughs> I've worked on huge stuff around this lately. Um. You're looking again intellectually at something that's happening emotionally. Why, why are you doing that? Like why, why don't you just trust the interaction? I am. He's There's one of two things occurring here, isn't there? What are they? What's <laughs> happened with any man issue so far? One of two things. Well, I'm working through them. On one, on one side, there's either a desire to spend time with them, or on the other side, there is an emotion that you need to release, is there not? Yeah. That's okay, so I'll tell you, he is coming up. We are going to talk about it because yeah. he's in Victoria and he wants to talk about the divine love part. So I don't know whether he's wanting to come up to stop his loneliness or to really feel that or whether it's my, you know. Why do I you want to know in advance? Well, I'm going to work with it. That's what I'm saying. We are working with it. Yeah, but why do you want to know in advance? I guess I'd really like to know if he's still my soulmate. Okay, so get, let's get to the point. Like, this is the question. Yeah, that's a better question. Yeah. Can you see how you skirted around the question? Yeah, but I was confused. As, I was confused. As why well. are you confused? Yeah, is it my addiction or his addiction? No, but see, you're just avoiding the question. <laughs> is he my soulmate or not? That's the question. Yeah, that is the you, question. You're so focused on, is this my addiction? Is this, uh, da, 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 da. And in reality, that's not the question you want to ask. The question you want to ask is, is he my soulmate or isn't he? Yeah. Am I going to tell you? Probably not. No, why? Because <laughs> I need to work through it myself. Because this is an opportunity for you to work through groups of emotions still. Does that make sense? I got more there? Yes. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Are you with a man right now? No. So, you haven't attracted your soulmate yet, is that correct? Well, I was married to that man for, for a lot Doesn't of years. It doesn't matter, he might be your soulmate, you might be attracting him right now. Have you attracted him right now? No, not yet, have you? Your soulmate, I'm talking. Well, I don't know. Is he with you right now? Well, next week he might be. No. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, what we often do is we, we often couch our questions, avoiding the real questions. And what you want to do is you want to... A lot of this is he, isn't he, isn't he, isn't he, is just excitement about, in the end, meeting your soulmate. And then wondering, oh, geez, is it somebody I live with for 30 years? If it's like that, then I don't know whether I want that soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's, like, it's like, wow, what if he is then, oh, gee. Uh, uh, yeah. But that's what I thought last week, and I worked through the emotions of that, and now I'm ready, whether he's my soulmate or not, I'm ready to talk with him about it and, awesome. to, feel, and to really help him if he wants to be on the divine love path. Yeah. And I can love him, and yet I'm all ready for it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but you asked the question in a very convoluted way for a reason. Okay. What was the reason? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think it might be? Maybe I wanted to trick you into ask, answering my question instead of asking it straight out. Yeah. A lot of times what we want is we want a certain piece of information from a person, right? And what we finish up doing is we work out, mm, if I ask that straight out, I know what his answer is going to be because he's done that ten, out, ten other times, right? <laughs> so, so what I'll do in this time is yeah, I'll ask him a different devious. question and I'll say that I'm confused when I'm not really confused because well, you aren't is. really confused. You aren't. You are just in the process of feeling a few more emotions about the potentiality of this man being your soulmate and whether you have actually dealt with your issues with men. Right? Now, here is an interaction with a man coming up. He happens to be a man that you've had interactions with before. And here is an interaction with a man coming up to help you work through the rest of this stuff. So embrace it. Embrace, I don't mean embrace him and take him to bed. I mean <laughs> embrace 
the experience of this interaction in harmony with love and truth. Does that make sense? Yeah. The truth is right now, the question I asked you over and over that you kept not wanting to answer is, have you attracted your soulmate right now into your life? The answer is no, because you're minute. not with him right now. Mm. Does that make sense? So that means there is more emotion yet to deal with oh, okay. right, regarding the male. Otherwise, he would already be with you. And by the way, even when he is with you, there's still going to be more emotion to deal yeah. with, which you'll notice once he's with you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But what you need to do is, right, all the emotions that repel my soulmate from me, I am slowly dealing with. This is how it is for you right now. You're slowly dealing with all the emotions that repel your soulmate from you. And sooner or later, you're going to get to the point where you've got no more emotions in you that repel your soulmate. And then you'll attract him. And then you'll probably want to either live together or whatever, work through things together. But there'll still be emotions after that with men that you still need to deal with. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the question is really a way of avoiding the fact that there is more emotion inside of me to deal with with men. So you see, see, I'm attracting a man into my life and what I want to do is pre-plan the whole experience. Does this sound familiar in your life? Probably. <laughs> okay. Why do we want to pre-plan the experience? Because we are afraid. afraid of something. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of this interaction with, your, with the man who you've known for 30 years? You're af afraid of some things. Yeah? So let yourself feel what you're afraid of. Mm. What is it? I'm afraid that, oh, I've got to accept him being my soulmate and I've known him for 30 years and, and gee whiz, if it's going to be like the last 30 years, it's not going to be very good. So, you know, that's, <laughs> these are the kind of things that we get afraid of, right? Yeah, I've been dealing with those sort of things. Yeah, so yeah, let, obviously there's more. Let yourself feel those things. Just let yourself feel your fears. Yeah. And then you'll allow yourself to go through the experience, whatever the experience is. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got to if that. he's not your soulmate, it's going to be lovely that a man yeah. is learning about the divine love path because of his attraction to you. If he is your soulmate, then it'll be lovely because you'll be able to sort out through a lot of emotional th things together, including the emotions of how you felt over that 30 year period you were together. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm feeling, all yeah. of those things. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a really happy, good place. It's great, isn't yeah. it? So, why did you ask the question? Can you see there's got to be the fear? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Otherwise you wouldn't ask the question. Yeah. You would just go ahead with the interaction and see what comes up. I guess I'm impatient. Ah, I agree with that, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to know now. <laughs> I want to know right now. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you love me forever? Do you need me? Do you ever need me? <laughs> <laughs> And he can't guarantee all those things, even if he is your soulmate, right? Your soulmate might leave you. He might spend two weeks with you and find, gee, still pretty controlling <laughs> and want to leave you. Do you know what I mean? And, and the truth is we can't pre-plan a lot of these things and the, the beauty of experiencing the emotion as we go through it is that we will actually get to the causal each time. If we plan things ahead, what we're doing is we're planning to avoid the experience, parts of the experience. Does that make sense? It's a bit like, how, how many of you, when you go on a holiday, you, you book this night and you book that night and you book this night and you book that night and you book this night and that night and Every night is booked and you know exactly where you're staying, you know exactly what you're going to be doing and all of those things. What that's doing is that it, is it makes your holiday really, really comfortable to exactly what you expected it to be. And we often do this with our life. We try. We try to do this with our life. So what we try to do is what? Okay, he's coming next week. So what I do is I spend the next you know, day, two days, or what I think, how's it going to go? Is it going to go this way? Is it going to go that way? Is it going to go this way, that way, this way, that way? We, we don't understand that all I need to do in the moment is to feel the emotion. And everything will work through, whatever it is needs to be worked through. And I'll get closer to God out of it. And if he's my soulmate, I'll get closer to him. And I don't need to plan that experience. All I need to do is the same basic thing, and that is feel my stuff right now. So let's feel our stuff right now. Feel our stuff right now. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid he is my soulmate. 
I'm afraid of that. What, you know, let yourself feel that. You know, partly that's linked to some unhealed emotion about your relationship during that period. So it's lovely that he's coming because he's going to help you maybe work your way through some of that unhealed emotion. And then what, what's the other feeling I have? Oh, I want to know who my soulmate is. I'm afraid who my soulmate is. Right? Instead of going, I oh, know, my soulmate's going to be the person. It's the other half of me. Like, if I'm afraid of the other half of me, then I've got quite a few emotions to deal with about that. Does that make sense? Why would you ever be afraid of the other half of you? He's going to be perfect for you when he's dealt with his emotions. Right? And well, then we go, but, but what if he doesn't want to? And that's another fear, isn't it? Well, if he doesn't want to, he's not going to be with you. And he'll feel the pain of that. Because you won't, because you'll be happy. <laughs> if you deal with your emotions, he'll feel the pain of that and he'll go, wow, I don't want to be away from her anymore. <laughs> and he'll come back. That's how it will go. It's inevitable. Yep. Because in the end, if we follow this path of one to God, we will inevitab inevitably meet our soulmate and we will inevitably have a relationship with them. It just might take a bit of time mm -hmm. yeah, to go past.